Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT4. Gonna show you how to turn ChatGPT into your own personal and private tutor, professor, teacher, you name it. And not only that, I'm gonna show you how to use two different prompts that can help you learn anything you want to learn. Any topic, any subject. Big claim, let me back it up. And not only that, I'm gonna do it in a couple minutes as opposed to 15 minute videos about uh, things that take just take two minutes to explain. So here we go. So the first step, I've got a chat GPT open here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy in this prompt and I'm gonna make that prompt available in the, dis in the description so you can just copy and paste it directly. But what it is, is it says, I want to learn about insert topic. Insert topic is in square brackets. Tell me the most critical 20% that'll help me understand 80%. This is very simply the Pareto principle in action. Now notice that, that when I have the insert topic in brackets, underneath that I have in brackets how to draw. This is an example that I'm going with. But this can be anything. This can be, uh, maybe you want it to be Photoshop. Sure, you want to learn Photoshop? This is how you can learn it. Just This is basically a variable. So. In here, put in the topic that you want to learn. Hit enter. Now, watch this. It's going to basically say that, yes, this is the 80-20 rule, often referred to as the Pareto principle. Yeah, just like I said. There you go. Perfect. So that is step one. Now let me show you step two. All right, so let's look at step two. So real quickly here, you'll see here that it basically broke it down into all the different parts. Canvas, toolbox, options bar, panels. I know quite a bit about Photoshop, so I can tell you right now that these are quite good. And this is in fact the things that you would wanna focus on if you were teaching yourself Photoshop. That said, you wanna drill in a little further. I'm gonna give you a second prompt. This is kind of like a multi-step prompt. So you get your prompt and then you ask it to clarify a few things and give you examples. So here we go. I say, great, give me the best learning resources, books, videos, podcasts, interactive exercises for insert topic. Make sure they, diff they cater to different learning styles, especially visual learners. Now I'm gonna hit enter. And again, notice that insert topic is in square brackets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a square bracket. And then again, I'm gonna put in Photoshop, but you can put in anything that you want, any topic that you're going for, just use this as a variable. It's a very basic, uh, it's like you're coding, so to speak, but very simply. So I'm gonna hit enter and now watch this. It's gonna cook up and give me the best resources in its opinion. So let me go ahead and run this. When I come back, I'll show you the final step. All right, welcome back. So here we go, here we go. So we here are the books that it suggested with their good books. I have the top one, I don't know this. Oh, I have seen the second one, but I've never purchased it. And then in terms of videos, it talks about Flern. That's a, it's a rough name, but they're a great channel. Uh, Adobe Photoshop Tutorials, their official channel. Yes, it's very, very good. Going to Udemy and, or Udemy and doing specific training based on, uh, you know, their particular class. Christian Doru, I believe, is one of the better uh, Photoshop teachers, as is Daniel, uh, geez, what the hell is his last name? Daniel Stewart or something like that. Uh, but anyways, there's some really great uh, suggestions there. And again, you can go through it here and see that, hey, this is pretty cool. I can go to Reddit and, you know, jump into one of their subreddits. Here's a you suck at Photoshop. So this is really, this is how you do it. Now, if you wanted more information, great. Provide, oops, you can just now just go in and ask for more. Provide me more YouTube channels that are great, that are, that teach, and then you can go Photoshop. And then you just go ahead and do things like that and just add to it because it will go into greater detail. But literally, those are the only two prompts you need to practically learn anything.